Hi, welcome back to LGS Microscopes. I'm Paul and today we're going to go over how to use a basic clinical microscope. The first thing you want to do obviously is turn it on. So this one has a power switch right over here. Go ahead and switch that on. At first the light might be kind of dim because if the last person used it correctly then they would have turned the light all the way down. So we're going to turn it up just a little bit, maybe about halfway. This microscope also has a camera, so we're going to go ahead and turn that on. Of course you need to get your slide. When you're preparing your slide, obviously you're going to need your slide, whatever your sample is. And then a very important part if you're going to use immersion oil is you need to use a cover slip. You just place that right over. And this is so that you don't get any stain or you don't get any of your sample onto the objective lenses. You can go ahead and pull out this little arm here, set your slide in there, and you want to get it centered over the condenser lens. Now you can go ahead and set up to look in your eyepieces here. You want to make sure your diopters are set to zero or wherever is best for you. You can always reference back to our video on how to use a diopter. And then you also have what's called the interpupillary adjustment. And that just allows you to set the distance between your eyes depending on each person. So go ahead and get close. The stage is all the way down right now, so we need to raise it up using the coarse focus until you see your image come into focus. And there it is. Now you want to go ahead and start getting centered using your X and Y adjustments on the mechanical stage and find whatever it is that you're looking for. And you can also use this time to adjust a little bit on uh, your intrapupillary adjustment and make sure that both images are lining up properly. Once you've found what you need on your 4x objective, which is the lowest one, then you can go ahead and swing around to the 10x. And you're going to, of course, zoom in a little bit more. You might need to do some fine adjustments here on the focus. Find what it is you're looking for again. And you can adjust the light accordingly as well if it's too bright or too dim. And once you find what you're looking for on the 10x, go ahead and swing up to the 40x objective. Now at this point, you're going to want to start using the aperture diaphragm, which is located beneath the stage. Go ahead and close that down. Now we're going to find what we're looking for, and then it's time to move on to the 100x objective. Here at LGS, we don't just do sales and training. We also do a lot of service, and the number one reason why we get calls for any biological microscope needing service is because there's oil on the 40x objective. And the reason why that happens is someone uses oil on the 100x objective, swings back to the 40, and now you've glopped oil all over your 40x objective. This is what kills most microscopes and costs a lot of money to repair. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the proper way to use immersion oil. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the objectives to where you're right in between the 40 and the 100. I'm gonna take our immersion oil and all you need is one drop. Just one little drop right there in the center. Go ahead and put one, we'll say a generous drop, and put our cap back on. Once you've got your oil on there, go ahead and swing the 100 over. We're going to raise this up slowly, and you'll see it glop to the objective. Right there. See how that happened? Now that's the oil doing its work. And you notice it might take a second for the image to settle, but once it does, I get a much better picture. Use the fine focus to adjust your image. All right, now the most important thing is not to go backwards onto the 40X once you've got oil on your slide and on your objective, because what's gonna happen is you swing back and the 40 is close enough that you're gonna get oil on there and it's not sealed to protect the objective from that. So you only want to use the 100x when you're completely sure that you've looked at everything that you need to see on the 40, the 10, and the 4x objectives. So now what we're going to do is pull down our stage, remove our slide, and you can take some lens paper and you just dab the 100x objective to clean it off you just keep dabbing until no more oil is coming off. You don't want to wipe, just want to dab gently. And 
until now there's no more coming off. If you ever need to come back and look at how to use immersion oil properly again or maybe train a new recruit, we'll have a separate video that just goes over immersion oil use. Once you've removed your slide and cleaned your 100x objective, you can go ahead and set the microscope back to what we call first position for the next person that's going to use it. You want to lower your stage all the way down if it isn't already. Set the objective back to the 4x objective so that there's the most clearance there and there's the least risk of running into anything. Turn the light intensity all the way down. And the reason for this is that when you turn the light bulb on, if it's turned on at the lowest setting, that gives it a longer overall life than if you were to turn it on with the brightest setting already on. Turn the power switch off, and you're good to go. I hope this video was really helpful for you. If you have any other questions, you can always email us at info at lgsmicroscopes.com, or you can call us at 623-240-2232. Thanks.